sorry if I can't shout to that. I'm going to do it on the Yeah. Oh, okay. It's only the end of the time. Um, this is for Bruce's seven years. He tried to take over. <laughs> he wanted to order everything, and I said, no, go away. <laughs> he hadn't done anything in the last 40 years, so I thought he wouldn't be much <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you for, for being such a great travelling partner in all our lives. And, um, <laughs> no, he's been a great partner and a very loyal person to me and his friends, um, which you would all know anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, the last time, the last time I gave a speech. My son-in-law was in hysterics because we were supposed to give a talk about, you know, what you wish for your two grandchildren on their christening. And I thought, oh, it had religious connotations. So I thought, I can't really do this. You know, I'm not religious. I don't know what to say. So when it was my turn, I sat there and I went, ah, ah, ah. And Luke said, well, you could have passed it over to me. I would have said something. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for giving me four beautiful children. Yeah. Four, four beautiful fingers. And four great friends. I must tell you that Bruce is quite the romantic. It was our 39th wedding anniversary the other day, and I've mentioned that they're our wedding anniversary. Anyway, on the day, I forgot. <laughs> and he forgot, and I got a message from Deb, it's your wedding anniversary. <laughs> and then Bruce sent me a little song about wedding anniversaries. <laughs> because he got the message as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'd just like to say thank you for being here. Yeah, we all love you. And I'll pass it on to my in-laws, siblings, to take over. <laughs>